Jurassic Park was a huge part of my childhood. That movie is still really awesome to this day. And I was absolutely obsessed with it. Obviously, being a young kid in the early 90s, we had Land Before Time in Jurassic Park. So every, all life was good. However, now there is this 7-in-1 Jurassic Park Classic Games collection that you can get on everything, basically. PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PC. So is it worth uh, is it worth getting? Well, here is where it's a bit of a double-edged sword. I want to say yes because the NES version of Jurassic Park alone was a game I had as a kid and played the ever-living crap out of it. However, in terms of a classic collection, obviously probably due to some licensing bollocks, there's not all of the classic Jurassic Park games on here. Uh, unfortunately, I think they should have stretched out and even gotten the Jurassic Park games on the PlayStation 1. Um, like The Lost World and uh, there was a fighting one. What was it called? Jurassic Park Rampage or something? <laughs> a fighting game where you play as dinosaurs? That was pretty cool. Um, but I reckon they should have stretched out and got that. There's a, I think there's a game or two missing from the Super Nintendo as well. Um, and I'm fairly certain they could have stretched out and got some arcade games um, put on this as well. So, in terms of overall scope, it's not as, like, widespread as I'd like it to be. Um, you kind of have, you have the NES version of Jurassic Park, you have Jurassic Park Part 2, The Chaos Continues, you have Jurassic Park Rampage Edition, which was on the Sega Mega Drive, um, you get Game Boy versions of those games as well, um, not all of them are gr are good. Um, I think out of all the seven, two or three are actually worth playing, to be honest. <laughs> Unless you're a super fan. Um, and for 25 quid, it's quite steep for what they're offering here. Um, so I would have to say it is worth getting if you're a Jurassic Park fan, but not yet. Um, the game was released a few weeks ago now. Um, I did pick it up relatively when it first came out. I just ha I've had this video on my backlog for a while. But uh, I've been playing through it and trying to do them. There are quality of life improvements as well um, uh, that they've put into the game. So you can have save states and in-game maps and uh, you know you can rewind time and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's also couch co-op, which is pretty cool. You can choose different borders or have no borders at all. Um, there are screen filters, which are kind of standard on retro games, but um, in terms of for what you're getting, for what you're paying, I think the price is a little steep for the for the time being. I mean, it could have been worse. They could have released it at four seventy quid, and that would have died a death. Um, but yeah, I'd say wait till this around of eight. A tenner. I think ten pound would have is the sweet spot. I think, um, just for me personally. I know that sounds a bit odd, and I don't mean that. I mean, some people probably have some massive nostalgia for any one of these games, like I have for the first one on the NES. Uh, that game is just to me a classic, even though certain elements of the game have not aged very well, like the question mark boxes. I can never remember which ones give you health and which ones just blow up in your face which is a odd mechanic to put in, um, especially into a game as hard as the first Jurassic Park game. It is really hard. Um, so is Jurassic Park 2 as well. Uh, the Chaos Continues. That game is, like, super solid. Um, <laughs> the Raptors just come out and absolutely savage you. But, yeah, um, I would wait. Um, I think 25 quid is a bit too expensive for what you're getting, but, you know, it's all... 
it's, it's all subjective. Somebody may see great value in that. And if you do, go for it and go nuts and get the game. But that's just what I think. But let me know in the comments down below if you've played any of these Jurassic Park games or if tw you think 25 quid is a sensible price for this collection. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching.